my sister means the world to me. We are the only two out there. And when we enter this world, <laughs> I cannot describe for you the pain and sorrow I go through from day to day. I am her protector. And she She is losing blood, and I need to find more victims, as you could call them. That's where it gets into a very, very tricky business. I, it's not just finding a donor, it's, it's finding life supply, and it is finding the right amount to share with her so she can live the rest of her life the way she is supposed to. And I am her brother and I am her protector. Now, Vestusha, what do you do for a living? Well, I didn't just want to have a job. I wanted to have a career. Something I could be passionate about. So I went looking and it took me some time to find what, what I was looking for. And then I heard about this organization known as the Bloodsuckers of the World. I immediately joined, and you are now looking at the number one attorney of all of Transylvania. But, um, I have yet to represent any humans. Business is no good for me here. But I was hoping that by doing the show, I could get potential clients. Hmm? That would help me. So, just if you need an attorney, why not call on me? Vestusham, you set Van Stoker. Dial the number on your screen. I'm, I'm sure there will be a number there. I will bite the competition. Literally, that's what I do. I, I bite the competition. Now, what do you do? Well, I've had many jobs. Uh, in the past, I used to work at a metal video store. Uh, they got rid of me because I would take the DVDs off the shelf and I would take them home and burn them. Now, I did not infringe any copyrights and make benefit monies in, in sort of some sort of DVD conspiracy, I would actually take the DVDs home and I would set fire to them. I would literally burn them. They did not take that lightly on that, so they got rid of me. After that, I decided to go into the field of telemarketing. It was a very interesting venture because I was able to do these things from home at the same time bugging somebody while they are at their house. I made a few friends that way. I would call them up on the phone and go, Ving Ving, and this is this is the phone. Ving Ving, I, I show you that's not the ringtone, that's kind of a lame ringtone, but I go, Ving Ving, I say, hello. Yes, would you like to buy a set of knives? There are 10 in a set. And they would say, no. And I would say, you're going to buy these 10 set of knives. And they said, no, I'm not. And I said, Yes, you are. I need this for my quota. I need to make my quota for this month. And they would say, no, I would not ever buy these knives. Definitely not from you. They were singling me out. So I said, you know what? I will hunt you down. 
and I will kill you if you do not buy the set of knives. Needless to say, that didn't work out so well. They did have a hard time getting rid of me because they liked my dedication. It's just that. <sighs> well, I actually killed that guy. He's um, he's dead. What kind of hobbies do you have? Well, I have many hobbies. Many hobbies. I enjoy sunbathing when the sun is not out. I enjoy. Bicycling? I can ride my bicycle like nobody's business. And then there's poetry. Both reading and writing it. And I have yet to publish any of my poems. The world isn't ready to read what I write. My poems are... dark... solemn... and... What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? Funny. Funny. Yes. That was the word I was thinking about.